hi, I'm Igal. Um, nice to meet you. You are developer of Distance, and um, just maybe introduce yourself and tell me what it's all about. Yeah, sure. So I'm uh, Jordan. I'm one of the programmers and uh, composer and business guy and a million other things. Okay. We're uh, uh, the company is Refract, and we're from the U.S. in Seattle. And uh, Distance is what we're calling a survival racing game, and it's kind of a futuristic parkour racing. So basically, as you kind of go through this really mysterious and chaotic city, you're basically just trying to survive to the end of the track, and your car picks up a bunch of abilities like boosting, jumping, flying, rotating, and it's kind of your goal to survive at the end. Yeah, and, and I, I, know, I know games like um, Radio G for Oculus Rift, it's like a tube racer, but you are different, you can fly as well. Um, What uh, what led you to believe this is cool and uh, well uh, you 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 went that way? So I, I think one of the, the the ways we look at it is that a lot of games kind of give you or they actually take away control. You're kind of drifting and you're sliding off the road and you're just trying to stay on the road. And our game is kind of the opposite where you have like almost too much control. If you fly off the or if you fall off the road, you can just fly right back on. If you jump on a building, you just ride it up to the top and kind of go wherever you want. There's like a sense of exploration and being able to kind of create your own path. And then from the multiplayer angle, you can kind of just go completely insane. If you're playing tag and someone's in, like everybody's racing up a building and jumping off. So there's a lot of kind of complex detail in there that we like to explore. Yeah, and I see um, you, you, there's the bonuses like a wall ride or the, um, something, and you get probably boost bonus or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah oh. There, oh yeah, totally. it's just a lot, like we have a trick system, we have a different ways to cool your car down if you're overheating from the boost system. Yeah. So you can kind of use that to like get really high scores in the leaderboards. Yeah, very cool, very cool. And you're on Steam, you went to a green light campaign, I heard. Um, how much is your game? It's 20 bucks, uh, so I'm not sure what the Euro conversion is uh, off the top of my head, but yeah, $20 US, and then uh, we're in early access right now. Yeah, cool, so um, I don't know. Um, yeah, how long have you been developing and been developing with Oculus Rift? I know probably you, you first started as a 2D game, yep. and then uh, seeing seen the, the VR hype, I wanted to try it yourself, probably. Yeah, so we got started with DK1 probably 2013. We did a, a version with it, and back in the day, it was like DK2 was just announced and some other stuff for whenever that time was. And we knew it was really promising, but we wanted to wait a little bit for the technology. And we've been working on the game three and a half years now in total. And it was a student, uh, it was a spiritual successor to a student project that we released in 2011 called Nitronic Rush. So we had a lot of those ideas from Nitronic Rush. We did a little VR experiments there. And we actually only been working on the VR properly solid for about a month now. And we're going to release it to early access players really, really soon. So we're just super excited to get the feedback on and have people at Gamescom play it. Having that in mind, I mean, I've just played it. It looks very decent for this short time of development with VR. So, yeah, congratulations. And I hope it's all Spaß gemacht. That is distance from uh, what's your company name? Uh, Refract. From Refract. Um, check it out. Ciao.